Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So as you guys know, I shoot all the videos on my YouTube channel on the Canon C200. It is a cinema camera by Canon, and yes, it's overkill, and yes, it's a little bit expensive, but people always ask me if I didn't own a cinema camera, if I didn't own my C200, or even my Blackmagic Pocket 4K, or even the Canon EOS M50 that I use for vlog stuff, what would I shoot on? What camera would I buy? Would I still have a YouTube channel? And the answer is, Yes, I wouldn't use a webcam into a PC or anything like that. I would just shoot on my iPhone. Smartphone cameras are starting to look incredible being able to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second and they are completely capable of doing anything you want for anything you want to film on YouTube. They look great and I can prove it because I'm shooting on my iPhone right now. I've got it set up right here in front of me and I've got my C200 in the back to prove that I'm actually shooting this intro clip on an iPhone and it looks fantastic. So regardless of whether or not you have a camera, you can still get started on YouTube with just your smartphone. They look incredible and take any kind of budget that you had that you wanted to throw at a new camera for YouTube and maybe spend it in a couple other places that are going to help your videos in much bigger ways. I'm going to talk about those in this video as well as a couple of tips to help shooting on your phone look a little bit better. So let's get right into it. So shooting on an iPhone, like I said in the intro, smartphone cameras, they are getting rather impressive being able to shoot 4K 60 all inside of this tiny little thing. I don't understand why people aren't utilizing their smartphones more for making YouTube videos instead of using webcams going into their PCs kind of like their stream setup when this could look way, way better if you just take a little bit of time and maybe buy a couple things to really get the quality of this standing out. So when I say shooting on an iPhone, a lot of people just think of like using the selfie camera and just holding it out like this and like vlogging a YouTube video or even using the back camera for higher quality, but holding it out and just shooting a YouTube video like this, but there's one step you can take to immediately make this look a lot better, and that is buying something like this. This is a tripod attachment for an iPhone, and I picked this up off of Amazon for, I believe, $8? $8 on Amazon. I'll link this down below. It pretty much just allows you to pop your phone into it, screw it down, and you can have a tripoded phone set up. So it hooks it in just like that. You can go vertical if you want to unscrew this thing. You can like go vertical, you can move it all over the place, but I recommend just leaving it horizontal like that. And then you can plug this in or screw this into a tripod, but cool thing is it doesn't even need to be a tripod. It can just be a basic light stand. Light stands usually have a quarter 20 screw on the top, the exact same as a tripod screw. So you could just take this and screw it onto a light stand you have laying around, or you can buy light stands on Amazon for super cheap. I'll leave a link in the description for that below, light stand and this thing. And just like that, you can have a super cheap tripoded angle with your phone. And bam, just like that, we are shooting a tripoded shot on my phone for like $20, $25. I'm not sure how much light stands are going for nowadays, but they're crazy cheap. And this thing up here is only $8. It's blowing my mind how not more people are doing this right here when shooting their YouTube videos. This is what I did for the intro. I just had this attachment on top of a light stand just filming me. So that is the first thing I recommend you doing is tripoding your phone so that you're not trying to hold it out and it's very obvious it's a phone, but when you have a tripoded, it looks like you've got a real camera going. But the next thing you're gonna wanna buy is lighting. If you want your iPhone shots to look as good as a regular camera, you need to provide light. Any camera is gonna look like garbage if you don't have enough light. So you can pick up the softbox that I'm using right here for this video, the same softbox that's right there behind me on Amazon for like $50 for a pack of two and I think there's even cheaper ones if you just want to buy one and if you just throw that up in front of your face right back here maybe at like a 45 degree angle and then pop the iPhone on a stand like this you're gonna have an incredible looking shot because that's exactly what I did for the intro I just had the phone right there and one light right there behind me other than the accent light behind me is just one softbox behind me lighting me up for that intro clip all shot on a freaking iPhone. But you might be thinking, hey, I've already tried to shoot a video on my iPhone, even with lighting, it came out looking washed out and bad. And I think there's one reason why that is happening, especially on iPhones. I think a lot of people don't realize that you can manually set your exposure when you're shooting on an iPhone. So if I turn it to face you just like this, shooting really tight on my face, let me focus for you just like that, you'll see that I'm looking a little bit bright. So cameras on the iPhone tend to overexpose a lot when you're shooting videos and photos. And the way you take care of that is is when you tap to focus. So if I tap on my face right here, the yellow box will pop up. But when you tap, if you tap and then slide down, 
you'll see you can manually adjust the exposure until it's dark and properly exposed. And usually it is very overexposed when you are shooting on an iPhone. So right there, from what I can see through the camera, it looks like that's pretty close to properly exposed now. And this is what it would look like if you manually exposed. So whenever you're shooting on an iPhone, make sure you're tapping, get in that yellow box, make sure you drag down and drop that exposure because phones are a lot like webcams. They always try to just pump as much light as possible. They always think the shot's underexposed, so they way overexpose it. And you really got to tap and bring that down. I'm guessing it's the same for Android cameras usually all smartphone cameras do this so make sure you find out how you manually expose on an Android phone I don't know Android phones well enough to let you know how to do that but there's got to be a way to manually expose so make sure you do that bring it down and you'll get a much better looking shot but now that we have an incredible looking shot coming from your phone we've got one more thing to deal with and that is audio. The audio coming out of smartphones are not that great, and I highly recommend you use an external microphone to make it sound way better. For some reason, when you pair not so great video with incredibly good audio, our brains just forget that the video looks bad and they're just focused on the video. We can forgive bad video, but it's really hard for us to forgive bad audio. If you don't believe me, take a look at this. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So as you can see, it is really hard to watch something with bad audio, no matter how good the video quality is. But when the video quality might be lacking a little bit, if you have really good audio, you can just keep watching, you'll forget all about it. The audio is more important, and the way we're gonna take care of your audio is by buying an external microphone, maybe one like this. This is the Rode Video Micro. I believe it's like $100, if that, on Amazon. And if you buy this and buy a little bitty extra cable that I'll also so link down in the description this and the little cable you can plug this directly into a smartphone and it'll work as an external microphone for your iPhone or for your Android camera and this would improve your audio so much right away as long as you can get it pretty close to your mouth just off screen it would sound so much better than the built-in microphone in your camera so make sure you look into this if you want to improve your audio but if you have a little bit more to spend once again instead of spending it on a camera maybe buy a shotgun microphone I'm using a shotgun mic to record this right now as you can see, and you can run this XLR shotgun microphone into an external recorder like this. This has got XLR ports and you can record your audio directly into this. It's going to sound amazing if you're recording through a shotgun mic and then you can synchronize that with your iPhone audio and post, get that iPhone audio out of there and then you're running with just the incredible audio from a shotgun microphone right over the top of your iPhone footage. And that would make your YouTube videos way better if you just took a little bit of time and took a little bit of your budget and applied that to audio instead of focusing so much on the video quality. But that's pretty much it for the video so now let's put it all together so here's me holding out my iphone vlog style looks pretty terrible but then if we put it on the tripod mount we got a tripod it here then if we add a light and then if we make sure it is properly exposed you can see how much better it looks and then combine that with the incredible sounding audio from a shotgun mic running into an external recorder and you've got an incredible youtube video without spending an extra dime on camera quality focusing all your budget on other things instead of upgrading the camera just using the smartphone that's in your pocket and i think this is an incredible looking video that'll look great on your channel as well but that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful and i hope to see you guys making incredible videos soon don't forget all the links to everything that i mentioned today are in the description the tripod holder the light stand the softbox the rode microphone the external recorders all the stuff like that is down in the description make sure you check it out it's a lot cheaper than you think probably to make some incredible incredible videos without spending a single extra dime on camera equipment but i'll see you guys in the next video.